Today we are unboxing the origin story Jordan 1s five years after their initial release, and I actually got these shoes completely free. Well, kinda, but more on that later in today's video. I purchased these shoes on GOAT. This is the first time I've ever purchased a pair of shoes on GOAT. This specific pair of shoes has been my grail sneaker since the day they released, but paying $200 and more for a pair of sneakers has never really been in the budget, and paying over $800 still feels really weird for a single pair of shoes, but like I said, these are the sneakers that I've been dreaming of purchasing since the day they were released. I found the toddler pair at my local flea market like two or three years ago for $10 and this, this sucker's been sitting on my shelf ever since. Now a little on the shoes before we actually break into the box. In my, in my opinion, this is the best sneaker collaboration of all time. Growing up, uh, my family was never the one to buy me brand new Jordans. Every time they released, I'd go to school, see everybody rocking the new Jordan 4s or the Jordan 5s. I think those were the two main silhouettes when I was growing up, but I, I never had those. The best day of my life was when my parents finally bought me a pair of Jordan CP3s right. from Hibbit Sports. So this is a little bit of a, a surreal moment for me. But one thing that doesn't cost a lot of money to be a fan of is Spider-Man. And to this day, Marvel and Spider-Man have been a huge part of my life. So seeing them come to together for these sneakers was absolutely insane and actually having them in hand right now again is just a surreal moment so without rambling on anymore let's get into the actual unboxing like i mentioned i paid i think 853 dollars and 60 cents on goat for these sneakers um i'm just now realizing that i didn't bring a knife or anything uh luckily i mean kind of luckily the box was like kind of opened over here so i think we'll just like rip the tape off um like this it is interesting to me. For those of you who follow the channel, you know that I'm a uh, I I'm a shoe reseller. Not really these kind of shoes, just more your everyday like uh, thrifting shoes, which is kind of how we ended up getting these shoes for free. But again, more on that in a moment. But it just, it kind of baffles me that they don't bubble wrap or protect these shoes at all. But without complaining about something that's not really that important, um, the box is in mostly good condition. You can see this over here. There's a little uh, banged up spot on the corner, but other than that, little packing paper. They come in the standard Jordan 1 box, which is fine. I wish, I wish I could get my hands on the promotional box. Basically just have the uh, Spider-Man logo on the top here and more of a Spider-Man themed box. That would be really cool, but uh, I think that those are going for over $2,000 now. So I opted for the, uh, the regular box. Now, before we take these out of the box, there's one little thing that I'm concerned about is the translucent outsole. Since the shoe is five years old, I'm curious to see how they're kept. I mean, obviously coming from GOAT, they're brand new in the box. I, I just don't know how, not necessarily yellowed, but how discolored that outsole is gonna be. So we're gonna, we're gonna find that out together. Got a little GOAT Assurant Authenticity paper here. Uh, just some standard, standard wrapping paper. <laughs> These things are crazy. And here's a good look at the shoes. The, the outsoles actually look to be in really good condition. As you can see, they are a little discolored around the edges, but honestly, for a five-year-old shoe, I think that these things look amazing. The leather is pretty good. I mean, I wouldn't say that they're the best feeling Jordans that I've ever had. They're definitely um, better quality than a lot of Jordans that I've held before, but the leather on these is immaculate. As you can see, they are basically a Chicago Jordan 1 silhouette with a few minor changes to uh, pay homage to the movie that came out. One, they have the blue translucent outsole, which is, is weird because Miles Morales did not wear shoes with the blue outsole in the movie. Are those my Jordans? I can't help it if we're the same size. It's just the shoes that came out with the movie. They have the blue tab up here. And then the biggest difference is the little dots that are going along the red leather on the shoe. The dots are there to symbolize basically the way comic books looked. Actually, I pulled out a comic to give you guys a close up the best I can to show you what the, the dots look like in a comic book. Basically, it's the way that the when the comics were printed, the dots were there to give it depth. So that's what those dots are there for. That's that's really just a really cool touch, in my opinion. Other than the blue tab up here, they do have the blue insole with the red Nike Air logo. These still have the laces attached to them. So they come standard with the black laces here, but they also have these red laces with the blue shoelace tips or, or aglet, I think that they're technically called. This one seems a little bit more discolored around the heel, but honestly, nothing crazy. Um, I'm gonna be wearing these things anyway, so they're gonna get a little dirty. I do kind of wish that they didn't go with the translucent because I know that this is going to get 
uh, really dirty really quick as you can see with the, the toddler ones that I have they're basically brown but overall amazing pair of shoes I think that I'm going to try to get my hands on the the second edition of this shoe that just came out the across the spider verse jordan ones i might be going for those next in the sneaker collection series which is what this video is a part of this is the first shoe that i have come across in my sneaker collection series but i do i really want to get the new across the spider verse jordan ones in hand to compare them they're a lot more wild a lot more out there but i do love the simplicity of this one just a little bit more i'm looking at the the swoosh here and it's also got a little bit of the dotted the dots going along the inside and then it's got like a patent leather outlining around it i just think these are super clean pair of shoes like obviously they're a classic silhouette with the chicago jordan one but just the little accents to just like give it the spider-man touch with the blue up here and the the comic book dots i know a lot of people don't love having the dots on the shoes but i think that it's a nice subtle way to you know show the show that it's a it's a spider-man shoe it's it's meant to be a comic book collaboration but it's not anything too crazy it still is a classic chicago jordan one and I, I honestly cannot wait to wear these things. Now, as I mentioned, uh, I got these shoes 100% for free and it took a little bit of effort. This video is not the last installment, but the last installment of let's call it the first season of a series that I'm calling Into the Sneakerverse. The title is obviously paying homage to the Spider-Verse Jordan 1s that we are, that we just worked our way up to. But I've paid for these shoes using no money out of pocket by going to thrift stores like Plato's Closets, Goodwills, places like that in my area, mixing in like Nike outlets and retail arbitrage places like Ross and Burlington to try to find underpriced shoes that I can then clean up and then sell online for a profit. And that's what this whole channel is based around. This is actually the first sneaker unboxing that I have ever done, but hopefully there's gonna be more to come because this is just the first pair that I'm adding to the sneaker collection that we are building up from the ground. Because as I mentioned earlier in the video, I've never really been super into collecting sneakers just because it's been a little bit out of my price range. But if I can get them for no money out of pocket, then I am more than happy to become a sneakerhead and finally get my hands on some shoes that I've always dreamed of having. This is still, a surreal moment just having having a pair of shoes like this in my hand like this is an $800 pair of shoes I still feel so weird paying that much money for these shoes even though I technically didn't spend any money on them but I have documented this whole process from day one with basically no money to put towards the sneaker collection and now I've worked my way all the way up to these so if you guys want to check out the entire series starting on day one I'll throw a link up in the top corner of this video so you can go watch that and like I mentioned this isn't the finish line to the series we are just getting started on an entire sneaker collection so let me know down in the comments below if you could have any pair of shoes in your personal sneaker collection let me know down in the comments what that shoe would be i'm just trying to look for some inspiration to add to my grail list of shoes that i want in my sneaker collection i'm taking a slight break from this series but we're going to come back strong hopefully going to have a 15 pair list of shoes up to this caliber that i want to add to that collection again with no money out of pocket so again let me know down in the comment what that shoe would be for you check out the rest of the series and subscribe for more i'll see you guys in the next video